Hi, how are you doing today? Just want to do a real short video. Uh, it's an interesting pen. It's a pen that is still available. Uh, this one is a tad different, but this is the M Pelican M805, uh, Suveron M805. But this one that's special about this one is this one does have the uh, italic broad nib on it. So there isn't much history on the uh, M800 series. Uh, I believe they started around um, around 1987, I believe, is the date that M800 was introduced. But like I said, this is the M805 because it has the uh, rhodium trim on it. Now this is, like I said, a special version with the nib, the italic broad. So you can see right there. Try and get you a good view. I have seen some variation. You can see this one is um, pretty crisp. Try and get a good view here of that. There you go. So it's a pretty crisp. Uh, it comes out to about a 1.5 stub. Uh, it, this is a two tone nib. But you can see that there. There's the actual writing surface of the pen. I have seen some complaints about these um, not flowing properly or not, you know, having some hard starting. I haven't had any issues with this pen. Uh, I think the uh, 800 series really is the perfect size everyday writer. Uh, it's just a real nice size. You don't have to post it or anything. I like that you can look through the striations and get uh, your your ink level. But I just I like the rhodium trim on these and I really like this nib. I thought I'd kind of continue the trend of doing some, you know, broader, more italic style nibs. So uh, this pen um, usually is only available in the M800 series with the gold trim. I was able to get this one from uh, Rolf Thiel, uh, Missing Pen. He does a website, he does an eBay store, you can also just contact him directly. Um, you see him all the time on Fountain Pen Network as well. But, uh, you know, he can get you these I believe he can still get you this version. You just tell him you want the uh, 805 series, and then he can uh, piece it kind of together with that nib there. So if you can see it there, it will actually say IB on it for italic broad. And uh, just do a quick writing sample. Like I said, this is the. I have not used this pen for a few weeks, so just got to get it writing here. There we go. All right. So. And this nib X funny, it does sing a little bit, so all right. Let's see. This is the Like I said, I don't have any hard starting. Like I said, I I have not used this pen. For several weeks so that's why I just had a little bit of trouble getting it going so let me uh, and I believe this is the uh, close up there uh, Edelstein Tanzanite Give you an idea with some cursive writing. Like I said it is about a 1.5. Um, give you the side. That's a little bit too vertical there. Stroke. So, this is a pretty crisp nib, like I was showing. So, I mean, you do have to be careful how you hold it. It's probably the best example right here. <laughs> All right. One more kind of example.
I think puts down a lot of ink. There gives you your example on your uh, cross strokes and down strokes. Just do another. So I'll give you an example here. Now that the pen's flowing a little better. See, now it's, it's flowing fine. It's just so it happens you don't use the fountain pen for a few weeks. So there you go. Pelican Sewer Run MA05, Italic Broad. Get some nice line variation. Uh, I find the Edelstein inks work really well, obviously, with Pelican's own pens. But once again, this is uh, Edelstein Tanzanite. A real nice, uh, kind of a dusty blue to the purple, but some good shading with that line variation. Just a great size pen. You can see my hand. Get a nice full grip on it. Beautiful nib. Work on it as always. Yeah, just a great pen. Uh, nice for letter writing. Um, everyday use, you know, not not too much with that rod. I do have a couple other 800 series with uh, extra fines and fines. Just just a great kind of variation on this pen. And kind of cool to get it on the Emma 805 body with the uh, two-tone nib. There you go, there's the pen. There's the nib. I just I don't on this color combination I just, I just love that rhodium trim with the blue and the black. So thank you very much. Have a good day.